What's up guys, Matt Tolbers. So we're actually in this tiny cabin right now. I have an adventure video you guys will be seeing next after this. But today we're gonna to be actually doing a review of this Jackery Explorer 1000. This is their new version two. So it's lighter, more powerful, and faster. This one only weighs 24 pounds, so it's pretty light. And it's got a 1500 watt inverter, so I can even run Keurigs, toasters, you know, electric grills, all that type of stuff on it. So here's the front of the Jackery 1000 V2. You got your power button, you can hold that down for a couple seconds, turns the screen on, you got your percentage, 100%, you got input, output, you can see there's Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, we'll show you the app here in a second. So you got your cigarette lighter, 12 volt right here, and you got a 30 watt USB-C, 100 watt USB-C, which is a fast charging for like tablets and laptops and stuff that need a lot of power. And you got your 18 watt USB-A, which that is actually fast charging also, a lot of them are only five. And you can turn your DC USB button on and you can see it will show the estimate like of time left if you have that on. And you got three AC wall outlets, which these are 1500 watt and then it's a 3000 watt surge. You can turn that on by pressing that. You can see it's 120 volt, 60 hertz and then it shows the estimate too when that's on. Turn that off and then you got your light over here. It's got a low, it's actually really bright. Like it's hard to look at. There's a high. Then there's an SOS. Now on top, it has a nice foldable handle, rubber grip on it, which you guys have probably seen the old version. It was like solid, so it was like hard to store it under things and stuff because it would take up space. On the side, you have where you can charge this thing. You have your AC charging spot. So you get your charge cords, orange. There's no power brick, so it's all built in. Then you have your solar spot. This thing can handle 400 watts of solar total, so 200 watts in each spot. And this thing can be fully charged from the wall in one hour if you need it to charge super fast. And then you can fully charge this in from three to four hours if you have 400 watts of solar. Then on the back, it's just like the specs, just nice, solid, you know, hard plastic. Then on the side is the fan spot. Underneath it has some orange rubber feet so it doesn't slide around you can get a five-year warranty with this you just got to register through their website so i'll have a link in the description to make sure you get your full five-year warranty this also has lithium iron phosphate batteries in it so they're just safer and a lot longer lasting this thing is 4,000 full cycle uses down to 70 percent of the original capacity it came with so that's basically daily use for 10 years. There's also over 62 safety protections built in and some others built in safety stuff. So with the lithium iron phosphate batteries in it, I think this is a very, very safe power station. You don't have to worry about it like starting a fire or burning down. Should we turn the shower on and see if that works? Just kidding. Basically, we don't want this happening to your house. That would not be good. And it can be operated between 14 and 113 Fahrenheit. So you've got a broad temperature range to operate this thing in. So it does have an app that you can connect to it. You can click on the Explorer 1000. You can see it go to 100% power and it even shows the temperature, which I thought was pretty sweet. It shows your input, your output. You can obviously turn your DC and then your AC inverter on. It actually operates the light from this high, low and SOS. And you got your screen timer. If you want it to turn off right now, you can do off, otherwise two minutes or two hours. And then under settings, you can uh, change the name of it. This is your emergency charging. If you want it to fully charge in one hour because you're in a rush, you can turn that on. Otherwise, it'll take a little bit longer to charge. Then you got your charge settings. This is your regular fast charging mode. If you want the device to be super quiet and take a little bit longer to charge, then you can change it to quiet mode. And then this is your battery settings. Fully used from 100% all the way to completely drained. Otherwise, you got battery saving mode. If you don't want to completely go to zero because it might help preserve the battery a little bit longer if you don't go completely to zero. Then you got energy saving mode. So you can have it to never turn off. Otherwise you can have this power station turn off after say something's fully charged and it's not pulling any more power so that your inverter doesn't continue to drain it. And then you also have auto time off. So this will just turn the device off regardless of something still being used. You may want that. Otherwise you can just have it to never turn off. Then you got your firmware upgrade, device number, device specifications, and you Got your user manual if you want to read on it online you can do that all right now we're going to test it out with different devices we're going to start small and we're going to work our way up so this is my drone battery and drone remote it says it'll run for 50.7 hours obviously these would be charged way before that now it's charging up my light i go camping with all the time and my really bright flashlight it showed zero watts it showed two a second ago but it's saying it'll run 99.8 hours plug in my fan that i use all the time while camping even at nine watts to charge up my fan it's saying it'll 
we still run 99.8 hours, which is basically the max. Smaller devices, it will fully charge easily and it won't really barely drain any power from this. I'm charging my phone right now and it says it's only pulling 11 watts, so it says 99.8 hours. Now it's time to start really pushing this thing. Let's turn on the AC and plug in a toaster here. This should pull quite a bit of watts here, so I don't have any toast in there. I forgot bread, unfortunately, but same thing. So it's pulling about 680 watts. It says it would run for 1.5 hours. Microwave turn on in our fridge. We do have some food we're gonna test out. We got some sesame chicken. So put this in here. So it looks like about two minutes, 30 seconds remove, another minute, 30 seconds. But it's not really that frozen anymore, so I might go a little bit shorter than that. two minutes on um, almost 1200 watts estimated times obviously going down at 0.9 hours but this is only going to run for a couple minutes so we're at 99 percent we started we'll see what we get down to after two minutes all right we dropped three percent so far we got to do another minute Woo, that is hot just gotta mix it up put another minute in there put it in for one more minute You can see it is showing it on the app. 1,097 watts, and it shows the estimate and the percentage. 94%, so from 99 to 94% to make our food, but if you had solar, obviously you could charge it back up. Well, while we let our food cool down, let's try making some coffee with the Keurig. That thing pulls a lot of power, so let's see if this thing can handle that bad boy. Gotta use our Tolbers camping cup, of course. You can get your own at tolbers.com. Full to the brim. There we go. Use our McCafe. Here we go. Doesn't pull much power when it's sucking in the water. It's once the heater kicks in. So right now it's basically saying zero watts, but that will go up. It's about to crank up. Here you go. Woo! 1410 watts. So this has a 1500 watt inverter, so this shouldn't have any issue. Also, if you wanna turn off that Bluetooth and Wi-Fi that keep flashing normally, if you don't wanna use the app, you can hold down these two buttons for a few seconds and we'll turn it off. So I turned mine off since I'm not using the app anymore. So we're down to 90%. We got our coffee, we got our food. We got to charge some stuff up a little bit. Well, if you wanted to boil some water, make some coffee, whatever you wanna do with an electric kettle, Let's test that out next. I think this thing pulls a lot of watts also. All right guys, so I really filled this up. That's a ton of water. This would make a ton of coffee. So let's see how much power that thing pulls. Ooh, yep, over 1400 again. So we're really pushing an inverter on this thing, but it's handling things that are really, these are the highest powered devices that I have. So yeah, this Jackery 1000 V2 can handle cure eggs and electric kettles and electric grills and all that stuff the fans on this actually are really quiet too for pushing basically the max power almost 1500 watts would be max actually what a lot what you're hearing is this like about to boil the water it should turn off there we go so that obviously pulled a lot of power but that was a really good test the fans turned off almost immediately once it went from 1400 watts pulling down to zero that's a good test to make sure this cannot overheat and handle all that constant almost max power pulling so she handled it well so maybe you want a cold beverage instead of something hot now we got my portable fridge plugged in here. This is something you would more likely run on a power station like this. You can obviously run very high power pulling devices, but you can't run them all the time unless you're gonna, you know, obviously plug in some solar. So currently we're pulling about 60 watts. It says 13.2 uh, hours. So it's charging this battery, built-in battery, and it's also running it right now because I just turned it on. As you can see the temperature and it's charging it up right now. So. Uh, yeah, it says it'll run for 13.2 hours, but obviously once this gets the temperature, it will shut off and then it won't be pulling any watts. So it obviously lasts a lot longer than that. All right, one last test. Let's try my massive shop van because sometimes it gets hot out there and you want to cool down. We'll try it on low and then we'll try it on high. You're not going to probably be able to hear me, so I'm just going to show you. Here's a low. So on low, it says it'll run it for about eight hours from 73% without any solar. If you did have solar, it would basically be infinite while you have sun. Hi. Woo, it feels 
good. The food is pretty good, by the way. I'm not gonna have any coffee because I've already had two cups of coffee this morning. You'll watch it on my uh, camping adventure of this tiny cabin. It'll be the next video after this. Almost forgot to mention this does have pass-through charging and also UPS mode. So that's a great feature to have. So we're gonna test out the UPS mode. Make sure that this doesn't turn off because if you have your medical devices or your computers or refrigerator, freezers, all that plugged in, and the power went out, it'd be nice to know, hey, our power went out, but we have it plugged into our Jackery power station so we know our devices are still running. So we're about to run this and then we're gonna pull the power out of the wall and make sure this doesn't uh, stop working or turn off or something like that. So it's pulling 1400 watts, unplug it. Oh, you see the input went out because it was charging a little bit and now it's just from the battery and this didn't stop working. We'll plug that back in. Should see some input here in a second. Yep, no issues. Perfect, we'll unplug it one more time. Yep, still working. So the UPS mode does work. So here's the outside spot at this tiny cabin. But uh, so now we're gonna show you the new Jackery 200 watt solar panel. This is their newer one. I guess it's a little lighter and maybe a little more efficient. It only weighs 19 pounds. It's got a nice smooth kind of rugged style and it has a little Velcro right there to hold the legs on. And then it has these like really strong magnets to keep it together. So you don't need a carrying case or anything. It's real simple. This is a solar cable that comes with it. It's really long. So obviously you're gonna plug this into one of the 200 watt spots. And you could obviously get one more 200 watt solar panel to have the max of 400 watt solar. But if you have like a different style Jackery, it might take this one. That's why there's like two heads on it. But this one obviously takes this one. And something I've never seen before is this actually has like a USB-C and a USB-A into the cord. So I'm assuming you can get power directly from this and charge devices without even having a power station. That's on, that's pretty sweet. And then it has an LED light to let you know it's working. So the sun's starting to come out a little bit. So we're gonna attempt to uh, plug this thing in and see if we can get some power. Well, it looks like the sun's hiding behind the clouds again, but we're gonna try to put it out right there and hopefully the sun comes back out. Like I said, it's got magnets. You just go like that, open it up. It's got some legs on the back. So here it is, brand spanking new, never been used yet. So you can see it's got two legs on it, but it seems like because of the angle, it, it doesn't seem like that it needs any more legs than that. So first, I want to see if this will charge a device without being plugged into a power station. That'd be pretty sweet. You take this end, you can see there's this little flap right here. Open that up. That has a certain way it's got to go. Just plug that in. Can you guys see the LED lights on? So let's try plugging this in. See if it'll charge my GoPro without being plugged into anything. That'd be the first time I've ever seen that. The red light, yep, it's charging. That's sweet. Look at it's not plugged into any power station. I've never seen that before. So let's plug this into the power station and see if we can get any power. There we go. I don't know if it automatically turns on or if you have to turn it on yourself. All right guys, so I learned that this actually isn't what you need for this one. You need this straight one. I was like, why is it not registering? So right now we're getting 41 watts. This is a 200 watt solar panel. <laughs> But look at the clouds, like the sun's completely behind the clouds. So I'll see if I can wait till it gets a little sunnier, but so far we're getting 41 watts. So this is the Jackery 200 watt solar panel. This is their newer one. It weighs 19 pounds. It has ETFE coating, so it doesn't yellow and last longer. It has 24% efficiency. So that's actually the highest I've ever seen. I like how like easy it is to adjust these legs. Like they, you can get that angle really deep. It's right now getting around 130 watts. It says it would take 2.1 hours to fully charge. If it keeps going up, that time will obviously shrink. Well, that's good enough for this test. Seems to work good to me. Super easy to put away. All right, guys, we'll hope you enjoyed the review of this Jack Explorer 1000 V2 and the 200 watt solar panel. Thanks to Jackery for sending me this. So uh, if you guys wanna check this out, I'll have a link in the description. 